Welcome to the Amphenol Broadband Solutions training on the Mini MCX Quad Compression Connector installation. In this training, we'll provide a MCX Mini Quad Compression Connector overview, look at the tools required for cable preparation and connector installation, show how to prepare the cable, and show how to install the MCX Mini Quad Compression Connector. The Mini MCX Quad Compression Connector is a one-piece connector with a sliding pin design. It's a compression style connector which can be installed in the field and it's an all brass high quality design. There's several tools needed for cable preparation and connector installation. A quarter inch by quarter inch cable prep tool, a compression tool, a cable cutters for a nice clean straight cut, braid brush for folding back the braid, and a knife to assist in removing the foil. Now let's prep the cable. I'll be using a cable cutter that has a curved cutting edge. The curved cutting edge gives a cleaner cut and helps to maintain the round diameter of the cable. Using the cable cutters, make a straight clean cut. This is a very important step to ensure that the cut is straight and the cable end is round as shown on the left and not flattened as shown on the right, as this will have an impact on the proper center conductor length and on the clean stripping of the cable. The MCX quad compression connector requires a quarter inch for the center conductor and a quarter inch for the dielectric and braid. I'll be using the Cable Prep CPT7538Q Quad Mini Coaxial Prep Tool, which will remove the outer jacket and expose the center conductor. Place the cable with the straight cut end into the prep tool until the cable hits the cable stop. This will ensure a quarter inch by quarter inch dimensions are achieved. If the cable end is angled, you won't get the proper quarter inch length of the center conductor. Rotate the prep tool about four times until you feel and hear it stop cutting. It's important that the blades are sharp to ensure a clean cut. Pinch the end of the cable prep tool and pull it straight off the end of the cable. Inspect the cable ensuring there's no pieces of braid or foil touching the center conductor. Long braids or braids wrapped around the center conductor indicate dull blades. After preparation, observe for scored and cut braid. This would indicate that you rotated too many times and cut too deep. Next we'll fold back the braid. This can be done several ways. Some cable prep tools come with a built-in brush that can be used or you can attach a velcro backing strip on your prep tool on the side or back which I'll be using here. With the brush, brush the braid evenly back over the jacket and brush at an angle on the top of the foil to expose the seam. You could also use a dedicated cable braid brush for folding back the braid. With quad cable, the outer foil needs to be removed. With a knife, score the seam and peel the foil completely off. With a brush, brush the inner braid evenly over the outer braid and jacket. Inspect the braid fold back, ensuring that it's uniform around the cable. By using the proper prep tool and folding the braid back properly, the exposed foil will be one quarter of an inch and the center conductor will be one quarter of an inch. Now we can install the connector. Align the prep cable end with the post and the connector at a slight angle.
Since the mini cable is so small, support the cable jacket close to the bottom of the folded back braid to prevent the cable from bending and kinking. Slide the cable into the connector. Push the connector onto the cable applying pressure along with a slight twisting motion until the cable is fully inserted and the center pin of the connector is fully extended. The center pin will be about an eighth of an inch below the face of the connector so that it's not visible when looking at the side and no braid should appear outside of the connector body. Before compressing the connector, ensure the compression tool is properly adjusted. For this tool, the compression head would be located at the first line from the left. Follow your tool manufacturer's alignment instructions. Now we're ready to compress the connector. Seat the connector and the cable into the compression tool and compress fully. The connector installation is now complete. Let's review what we've covered in this training session on the Mini MCX Quad Compression Connector. Provided an overview of the Mini MCX Quad Compression Connector, we looked at the tools required for prepping and installing the connector, show the proper cable preparation steps, and showed how to successfully install the Mini MCX Quad Compression Connector onto the cable. Thank you for viewing this Amphenol Broadband Solutions training on the Mini MCX Quad Compression Connector installation. For additional training topics, see our website at www.amphenolbroadband.com.